Sublime Text 3 is especially good at dealing with some of the technical details of editing text files that other text editors aren't always so careful about. Specifically, I'm talking about text encodings and line endings. Let's say I wanted to surround this navigation item, Programs, with curly quotes. If you're wondering how to type curly quotes, well, it's different on the Mac and on Windows. On the Mac, Option Right Square Bracket is a right single quote. Shift Option Right Square Bracket is a left single quote. Option Left Square Bracket gives you a right double quote, and Shift Option Left Square Bracket is a left double quote. These are shortcuts that are easier to type than to say. On Windows, you have to use your number pad on the keyboard. You hold down the Alt key and type 0, 1, 4, 5, and then release the Alt key to get a left single quote. 0, 1, 4, 6 gives you a right single quote. 0, 1, 4, 7 is a left double quote, and 0, 1, 4, 8 is a right double quote. Having made this change, I'll save the file with Command S or Control S on Windows, and I'll switch to my browser. I'll refresh the page, and you can see the curly quotes right there. And the reason these characters work correctly is that Sublime Text is saving my file as a UTF-8 file. I'll go ahead and save it again, and you can see in the status bar, UTF-8 is indicated. And this matches the encoding that we're telling the browser in our MetaCareset tag. But let's say a collaborator of mine has made a mistake. I'll simulate this with Save with Encoding and choose Windows 1252. Down in the status bar, you can see this new encoding is what's been used to save the file. And if I switch to my browser again and refresh the page, you can see I have invalid characters. Here's how you fix a text encoding problem like this in Sublime Text. First, I need to reopen the file with the right text encoding. If I just close the file and reopen it, Sublime Text sees those curly quotes and uses that to detect that this is a Windows 1252 file. But I want to edit it as a UTF-8 file, which is what the browser sees it as. I'll just choose File, Reopen with Encoding, UTF-8. And there you go. You can see my curly quotes are now displayed as question marks because they're invalid characters. Now that I'm editing the file in the right encoding, I can delete these invalid characters and replace them with the curly quotes I want. I'll save my changes in UTF-8 once again, and now my browser displays the characters correctly. Similarly, people you collaborate with may sometimes give you files with incorrect or mixed line ending types. Sublime Text, on the other hand, will always save a file with consistent line endings, so simply saving a file will often be enough to fix the problem. But if you want to make sure that it's saving with the correct line ending types, just go to the View menu and choose Line Endings, and you can see this file is going to save with Unix line endings. But if I wanted to switch it to using Windows line endings, I can make that change and save the file. And I can change it back just as easily. These tools aren't in your face, but they're there when you need them. And that's one of my favorite things about Sublime Text 3.